assassination, mm -hmm. which was not by James Earl Ray, but was ordered and concurred in by J. Edgar Hoover, and the mm -hmm. FBI supplied the murder weapon and the ammunition. Whoa. And the shot came from the fire station, not the flop house, not the bushes. It was a two-man team. They recruited them from the Marine Corps sniping school at Quantico, Virginia, where the FBI has a training academy. Now, I'll get back to that, but you see, they hadn't expected me doing what I did to be neutral, fair, and impartial. They thought when the case got in front of me on random rotational assignment, I'd just go dog the dude out, but I just said he deserved justice. Let's see what the fuck happened. And it was not what the narrative says. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's what happens when you get fair and impartial. Well, see, I'm fair and impartial when that's my job. Mm -hmm. I'm the referee to umpire. Mm -hmm. When it comes to me outside of that, yeah, I have some opinions. And a whole lot of people I know got killed. I was in the building when John Huggins and Bunchy Carter got assassinated by those us folk mm -hmm. at UCLA at high noon in Campbell Hall in the cafeteria in front of 42 witnesses. Dang. They kicked in, somebody else kicked in my door upstairs where I had an office on the third floor and put four bullets through the back of my chair, which I had set up so I'm facing out rather than toward the door just for that purpose, or not for that purpose, but for some other reasons. And Elaine Brown and I were going back down the stairs when this shit went on and they took off past us running out. They shot John in the back twice, point blank, killed him, but he wasn't dead yet. So he set up and had a 357. He popped six caps at them as they were fleeing and hit one of them in the back of the shoulder blade, but didn't stop him. And they mm -hmm. kept going. The police wound up admitting some of them that us was on their side. And every time they went to bust these folks, they got tipped off. And they got two of them. Johnny Cochran tried, uh, defended two of them. Mm -hmm. They got second degree murder convictions sent to a penal facility. They escaped in a week. APB got taken down within 48 hours. I saw them two years later. A guy named Yuko Babu, who's out in L.A., still does the Pan-African Film Festival mm. out there. Well, he, me, and some other people were trying to raise money for Frelamo, the gorillas in Mozambique. We had mm. gotten an airplane full of combat boots that the State Department seized, so we raised money. We had Taj Mahal, Pharaoh Sanders, Oscar Brown Jr., uh, Gene Pace, Aretha Franklin, and Stevie Wonder put on a free concert. We raised the money. So I'm walking around in the audience at the Palladium, which was on Hollywood Boulevard then. Mm -hmm. And here are these two that just got convicted of second-degree murder. I said, what the hell are you doing out? Both of you, well, you just walk. So 25 years later, they got tired of being on the run. They tried to surrender themselves. California said, we don't want you. Mm. Now, see, that's the way it used to roll. So with that kind of context and all of these people I knew died, uh, see, I recruited Geronimo Pratt to UCLA. That's G. He did that time for that murder wrongfully convicted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nathaniel Clark, he got killed. Elaine Brown, I recruited her. See, all of these people died and people were getting killed left and right all the time. Mm -hmm. Now, with that context, I hate these pimps and simps who get up trying to perpetrate about they're trying to be about black business and all they are is LGBT surrogates like mm -hmm. the Black Caucus. And mm -hmm. I look at the people like Al Sharpton, Cory Booker, Don Lemon, and Crying uh, Van Jones, I call CNN, Crying Negro Network, and idiots like that you said the crying Negro network? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, see, <laughs> CNN has Anderson Cooper 